Hello everyone and thank you for watching my Dell Venue A Pro videos on my YouTube channel, Mr. Nokia Tech. Welcome back. And this time we're going to take a look at another game on the Venue A Pro. Um, not a mobile game, but an actual desktop game or PC or Windows game. This game is called Mirror's Edge. It's one of my favorite games um, that I play a lot on my desktop computer. Um, as some of you may know, the Venue 8 Pro does not run Android. It runs the full version of Windows, currently at Windows 8.1 update. So let's take a look. As you can see, I have an Xbox 360 controller plugged to the Venue 8 Pro via a USB on the go cable. The Venue 8 Pro comes with a micro USB port, and so you cannot plug USB. Um, hardware direct to the Venue 8 Pro. But what you can do is buy one of these handy USB on the go adapters. They have micro USB on one end, full size USB on the other. So once you get that, you plug that to your Venue 8 Pro. And then you plug your USB hardware, which includes the Xbox 360 controller and soon to be Xbox One controller or any other device to your Venue 8 Pro then you're able to use your devices as you would on your desktop computer. And I have this handy mouse here, which is the touch pointer or touch mouse pointer, I'm sorry. And it enables you to have an actual mouse just like you would with having a mouse plugged in. So let's go to Mirror's Edge. And it looks like I may not have double tapped it correctly. Well, now it's loading. Um, this game is a first person adventure game. I won't necessarily say a first person shooter because you don't really do much shooting in this game. Um, you're basically a runner. You run from the cops, you run from whoever's pursuing you, but not a runner as in Temple Run. It's more of like a runner as in the Matrix to where someone's pursuing you, um, you have a group of people and you're trying to deliver information, trying to escape. So you're running from rooftop to rooftop and so forth. So it's a lot of thrill and action in this game. And you can get guns if you take those weapons from your enemies with a good counter move that um, basically they try to shoot you or hit you and you can counter and disarm them. And I did not copy my save file over for, for this game, so I believe I had to start from the beginning when I played it um, a couple of months ago. And as you can see, it's not full screen. I have the resolution um, reduced to increase the performance. The Dell Venue 8 Pro has the latest Atom quad-core processor, and even though it has an extremely powerful GPU, it's not as powerful as a desktop class GPU. But again, it's not the same kind of Atom processor that you're used to using from the dark netbook days where Atom processors were slow and you just hated even buying a netbook with an Atom processor. So with this latest processor, you can, pow you can power um, PC games that you normally can only play on the PC. Now you do have to lower the graphical settings to be able to run certain games. And it's entirely up to you how low you want those settings to go and what level of performance you're looking for. But as I'm about to show here, the Atom processor in the Dell Venue A Pro is able to run these games. For some people, just running them is enough. So let's go into continue, and we'll continue where I left off. And it shows there how um, the bad guys were trying to get her, and she countered one and kicked the other one down. So you can actually do things like that in this game. Okay, so now I'm in the game and moving with the analog stick here. The right one moves your view, makes lets you look up and down, left and right. And the one on the left actually moves your character. And then you use your R buttons, punch. And L is to duck, so you can run and duck. And I actually press the button to enter slow motion. This helps you with countering. You can hear the sound has changed. And B allows you to turn and face your direction that you need to go. So if I'm lost and I don't know where to go, I can press B and it turns me around and says, hey, you need to go in that direction. I actually haven't played this in so long. Um, 
the R button allows you to do a 180 degree turn. The L button there is your jump button. So basically what you do, and I might actually fail here, you run and you jump and you hope that you make it. There's a button to keep from hitting the ground and hurting yourself where you can do a roll. So for the purposes of, of this game, pretty much all you have to do is jump and duck. So you can run, duck, and slide. And then you have your other buttons that you can do like punching, turning around, and so forth. So I'm going to jump and automatically grab that. And I let go before I got there. Red objects, they kind of show you where you need to go. Once you get your momentum going, then you can move a lot faster and make bigger jumps and so forth. So it gets pretty scary if you're scared of, if you are afraid of heights. So you have to kind of keep her balanced to keep from falling. And you can use your analog stick to do that. You can run, jump on the wall, and then jump again to try to make it. So this red platform here means I need to run as fast as I can, jump at the last second, and try to grab the pipe. And I made it. So from there, I can try to jump to this pipe. So the game runs really smooth. And as I said before, I did reduce the resolution and I have it a smaller size. So I'm gonna go in and hit the door with the button that you used to hit with. So I need to get up there and I gotta figure out how am I going to do that. So what I think I will do is basically jump up here, jump off the wall, jump up there and grab that and then climb through there. Seems a lot harder than it, well it sounds a lot harder than it really is because all you have is your jump button and your crouch button and you have the button that turns you around. So basically I can jump on the wall, hit my button to turn around and then jump to the top. Now I haven't done this in a while so I may not actually get it to work. So now I'm hanging up here. I can hold my button that turns me around to look the other way even though I'm still hanging on the wall with one hand. At that time I can hit my jump button to jump up there. Okay so now I'm trying to jump and I grabbed it. So then just jump up here. And so here's telling me, he's giving me a hint. I should always try to get away from hostiles. So since this is not a first person shooter, I don't have any guns to where I can pull out and just shoot everybody down and keep going. I'm supposed to escape with my life and find clues and hints and deliver messages and things like that. So it's a different type of first person game. Now, if I was brave, I could run into those guys, try to counter, disarm one of them, take their gun and kill the rest of them with it. More than likely, I'll probably get shot before I get there. So what I'll do is try to escape. So let's see. So when I jump down here, there are going to be a group of guys waiting. There are those guys. So. The frame rate is really, really smooth. Um, and it's definitely enjoyable to play on the tablet. Even if the resolution is lowered. I'm going to press my punch button to bust through the door. I can hit my slide button, just the L trigger to slide beneath there. Here's where I usually fail. I have to time this just right to jump and hopefully I make it. And I did. So since they're still behind me, I'm going to keep on running. I'm going to jump on the bag to jump higher. There's something red over there, so I'm going to go in this direction. Jump on that bag. I can hit the slide button to roll so I don't hurt myself like I did before. So this is telling me that I can eliminate my enemies by jumping and kicking. There's jump, there's my attack button. So I'm going to go for it. I jumped and kicked this gun out of his hand. I could have picked up the gun, but I'm still getting shot at, so I'm just going to keep running. 
I'm gonna slide and do a kick and a punch. And I didn't make it. So that is Mirror's Edge on the Dell Venue 8 Pro. Feel free to change the graphical settings to whatever you're comfortable with playing. Um, but just to show you, I wanted to let you know that this game is able to be played on the Venue 8 Pro. Down here at the bottom, you can go into your different graphical settings. You just press the stick to the right. I'll show you what settings I have it on. Currently have it on 800 by 600. Um, which is lower than the resolution of the Venue 8 Pro screen. So that's why it's a smaller box than the size of the screen. I have texture detail on lowest and all of these other features on off. Even with that being said, to me, the gameplay is perfectly acceptable. Even with the smaller size screen, it's definitely a larger screen than if I was going to play a similar game on my 808 PureView or my Nexus 5 or anything like that because this screen is still larger than even the 5 inch screen on the Nexus 5 and I still have the benefit of playing with the Xbox 360 controller so however it's acceptable to you feel free to play it um, but the Vigne Pro is definitely powerful enough to play Mirror's Edge and as my original video was titled desktop quality PC gaming the Vigne Pro definitely delivers um, as I said in the comments, that does not mean you're able to play desktop games at the maximum quality settings. Um, I have a GTX 780 in my desktop computer, so with that I can play just about everything on maximum settings. But the quad-core Atom processor and GPU in the Vineyard Pro does not allow you to max out your games. But you can play them. So that's a good thing to know. So thank you guys so much for joining me again in another Dell Venue 8 Pro video. I hope that it was useful to someone. Feel free to leave comments below of some games that you would like to see. And I can definitely see if I can get those running on the Venue 8 Pro. Sometimes there are files missing that I have to hunt down and copy over um, as I do own all of these games. But with that being said, I have several different games that I can try. I did make a video already of of the Street Fighter 4 and I just made the video of Mirror's Edge so thank you again for watching have a wonderful day leave comments below subscribe if you like the videos I'll definitely try my best to make more in the future Dell Vigne 8 Pro is a fantastic Windows 8 tablet and as technology improves I'm sure they'll be more powerful where we can play our games in full screen and at higher detail settings Thank you again. Have a wonderful day and I hope to see your comments next time.